So what did you think of Strange Darling? So let me let me preface this one. I had no idea this movie existed. Apparently it came out last year um, at a few festivals wow. or something, and then they just released it mm -hmm. nationally, internationally this week. Um, I really enjoyed it. Like I didn't see a trailer. I was literally just on, happened to be on social media and saw somebody do a review for it that I respect and they were stoked on it. Um, I really enjoyed it. I like the uh, the storytelling that it was out of chronological order. Mm -hmm. um, that definitely that twist took me by surprise. I thought the performances were pretty solid. Yeah. Uh, love that it was shot on 35 millimeter. So this one of those movies where like I I really enjoyed it. I would probably watch it again if it was ever on streaming. Yeah, I was telling them uh, when we all linked up at like the uh, movie theater that like it was just by coincidence that that morning I saw something about it and uh, I was just watching like because I saw an inter uh, an article. They said that Giovanni Ribisi like did the cinematography and he was an avatar, uh, I think he was Sneaky Pete or whatever. So I was saving Private Ryan, so he's a good yeah. actor. I had no idea he did fucking cinematography. And I guess he did like some music videos or something else or whatever, but like, hmm. so uh, I saw it because of, I wanted to see it because of that. And then you mentioned it and I was like, oh shit, okay. Like this is just like, what a coincidence. Yeah. Um, uh, so um, I don't know if I liked it as much as, as you seem to have liked it. Uh, definitely, I was telling them after yesterday, like there are a lot of things about it I liked. Um, the twist, I guess spoilers, the twist was, yeah, that was awesome. Uh, mm -hmm. Like the feeling I got as I was watching it, like picking up on like, oh shit, yeah. like yeah. she's she's kind of sus. Like this is really, yeah. like, oh, that's <laughs> yeah. cool. And I think how they kind of, the whole kind of like social commentary thing about how like she's, you know, and what she says in the car about how, oh, you know, it's very hard for a woman like me, you know, in, in these days that just want to have fun, you know, like what can happen to us and stuff. And then she fucking kind of uses that to her advantage yeah. um, with this kind of like fictional like serial killer. I think that's, that's great. That's so cool. Um, and the whole like chapters thing was like, that, that was cool. That was really cool. Um, so like overall, like the fact that, and also another note too, our theater was a lot more full than I thought it was going to be. Which really? I, Happy about it. yeah it was, it was yeah it's like it wasn't full full but it was a lot of people um i think mine it was a standard like cinemark theater there's probably 10 other people there i think but i also saw it at 11 55 on a saturday okay so. no, we saw it 7 30 last night and like it was the okay. first time in a while where someone else was sitting next to me who i did not know like that's how full like the, the row was yeah. we're usually like we're just like you know three or four seats and we'll just fucking sit anywhere and there's like an empty seat or whatever or someone scoots over but it was like pretty pretty big um so the fact that it exists the fact that it got uh screen time uh and it got release and like i guess there's so little ad for it i guess only kyle like galliner is the only person really promoting it from what i've seen on like x or whatever like i'm happy it exists like the story is very interesting the twist was cool. That being said, a lot of like the, on a personal level, like intimate scenes that last a long time, like, I don't know, for me, they're just not really my thing. So like a lot of the makeout stuff, sub dom stuff, whatever, like on a personal note, I just don't really care for watching that. But for the sake of the movie, I, I understand like they, they need that. And like, they kind of like flirtatious, like back and forth where it's like, oh, you don't know if she's being serious, like, you know, Besides the fact that like she's fucking like she's the actual like serial killer spoiler, um, yeah. they're having this whole like role play thing going on, and you know when he's saying like the whole shit about like put my foot in your mouth, like, okay, this is probably the killer, you know, he's like now he's gonna get her, yeah, um, like that. That's all great. That's all fine. Um, I think like the action, like the tense scenes, I really enjoyed a lot the most. They saved it. Uh, the fucking mountain people scene really saved it. The breakfast, <laughs> yeah. like people were like audibly like groaning because the breakfast was so disgusting that they were making yeah. uh, i thought that was that was funny it was a good theater definitely experience um uh i don't want to get nitpicky i don't know the actress I main actress she did really well but some of the acting choices i thought were a little much at times but she's a serial killer she's crazy i don't know what the directing was like mm -hmm. i just sometimes like the certain delivery here they were kind of like eh. like it seems a little like try hard edgelord to me but i don't know <laughs> that just could give me my personal preference but uh, overall yeah i would say like sleeping on it yesterday i would probably give it six and a half maybe seven yeah um so too bad that we couldn't actually see it on an actual like film projector so we could, i mean it's 35 mil but we saw it like digitally because i don't know how many theaters around here that have like a projector that we can see it mm -hmm. on yeah um but so you sorry get that film grain but, though that's what's important to me sure yeah. i was surprised how just so, how beautiful some of the scenes look. They did a great job with, I think, the set design just around the, the mountain people's house with the different plants and whatnot that were uh, planted around there. Um, 
yeah. I think they did a good job with the kind of like the color palette of the film for something that takes place really just in a house, a motel, and then the woods. I thought they did a great job with that. Mm-hmm. Um, um, I mean, no, I definitely agree. Like, I think like the them shooting it on thirty five millimeter was like a, a big like uh, selling point when I first mentioned it. I was like really excited to see that. I think just visually, it looked like really like just again what you said like the colors and stuff were just like really beautiful. Yeah. Um, other than that, I mean, like I didn't really have like too many complaints. Again, like I think like you know, the whole, like, twist when, like, you find out she's the killer, I felt like she, maybe just the goofiness of it kind of took me out of it, because I wasn't expecting the movie to be, like, so, like, goofy, I guess, so, like, a lot of her, like, acting and stuff seemed kind of weird, but, like, after a while, I guess I just kind of got used to it, um, but, like, overall, like, I I enjoyed the movie, it wasn't, like, you know, kind of middle of the road, I would, like, I I don't know if we're doing ratings that, but I'd probably give it, like, a, like, a six, I don't know if I'd really, like, watch it again, but, you know, I had a good time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so, like, yeah, I, I think it was, like, I think, like, stylistically at first, I was, like, okay, like, I was, like, I was kind of, like, okay, non-linear storytelling, like, it, like, I think it, it did it pretty well, like, um, I think the twist was well done, and, like, it was, like, at the right point in the movie to, like, kind of recontextualize both future and past scenes, which was, like, a neat trick, and I think it, like, genuinely, like, uh, turned out to be, like, a good storytelling device. And I think up until, like, probably, like, um... I would say, like, yeah, the, up until, like, right after the reel of the twist, I think it was, like, pretty, like, well done overall. Uh, my main complaint is, like, I think after, the, like, right at the, like right after she gets shot and he starts talking to her in the icebox, I think that's when, like, the movie, like... Because, like, the whole plot of the movie, it kind of feels like a Coen Brothers movie, like, very No Country for Old Men in a lot of places. Mm-hmm. The whole, like, serial killer keeps getting away type of thing. Yeah. Um, and, like, totally it kind of felt like that up until that point. But, like, I feel like right around the mountain people part like it started to like kind of tonally feel more like like a tarantino movie so kind of like the plot of like a coen brothers movie but like the tone of like a tarantino movie which i said i was gonna say the review last night but um, uh so like and i think like yeah like up until that point i think it was really well done i really like the whole like bdsm like twist they did with like the whole like okay he's a serial killer it's okay it's like the safe word like i think it's really well done um but like i think the the writing of the movie was probably the weakest point for me like i think the acting was good i think like stylistically it looked great but like i feel like the dialogue between the cops kind of got like really goofy and like it really took me out of it and yeah. like by the end of the movie, like, it got so d- goofy that I kind of thought, okay, this is kind of like No Country for Old Men if, like, D from Always Sunny was, like, the killer instead of, like, Bardem or whatever. But, like... That's funny. I'm never going to unsee that now. <laughs> yeah. And, like, I, I don't think that's... I'm not sure if that's what they were going for, but, like, yeah. So, by the end of the movie, like, I think the whole audience was, like, kind of laughing at, like, this cop's dialogue. And I, I'm not sure if that's intentional. Like, I think the cop's dialogue really took me out of the movie. There's, like, the final scene in the movie where, like, um, she's, like, in the car, like, the, the woman cop, and, like, she's about, she, like, pulls out the gun and is about to shoot her, like, and then she gets shot, and, like, her hand reaches down and looks like she's about to effortlessly pull out another gun, and they kind of established earlier in the movie that she had, like, three guns on her person, so, like, the entire theater burst out laughing because they thought she was going to pull out another gun and just shoot her to death, like, right after she got shot, and that didn't happen, and, like, what followed was that, like, I, I think pretty well acted like scene of her just like slowly dying in the car mm-hmm. while like staring at the camera but like it kind of ruined that tonally for me because yeah. like ev- the whole theater started laughing like right before this like really like pretty well scene with like the fucking colors like fading from the screen as she like slowly dies and like yeah I think that was like what killed the like not killed the movie but like what would probably remove like a point or two from the movie for me it's just like mm-hmm. tonally like it really went very Tarantino by the end and I'm not sure like if that was intentional it didn't seem intentional yeah me. and it's weird because because like thinking about it, like it's nothing to do with trap. It's very different from trap. But like trap with M Night, like it, you, like you said before, it it, it totally it rides that fine line with like yeah. comedy and drama the whole way through. This has like really serious points, and then like really funny point, and then like stuff that's like should it should I be laughing at it? I'm not really sure and because it's not yeah. consistent. You don't really know like that whole uh, yeah when when he's dead like she fights the jumper or whatever and like the and then like Stephen Michael Cazada finds him and like the other cop and she's saying some stuff like you know like oh like just because I have a vagina <laughs> does that not mean that like I, I know what to do or whatever like that kind of stuff was like it, it was fine it was fine uh, but like I don't know like it's it feels like the comedy happened at points where it's like yeah, like like you said she's pulling out the gun but not really and then immediately after like she acts like this very very well like slow death kind of thing yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, I wonder it, how much. Tra- Sorry, remember. Uh, oh, you... 
to say, like, mm-hmm. Trapped is riding that thin line between comedy and thriller, like, very well, and to the point where it's like, I'm not sure which it's actually doing. This is kind of like a drunk car veering between the two lanes, and, like, it kind of like the whiplash. It almost kind of like a heartbeat. Like, it'll, it'll go really yeah. insanely, like, serious. It'll yeah. Funny all, 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 all of a sudden. Yeah. And I don't know. That's... I mean, like, again, I don't want to, like, put it, like, I think the movie was, like, I, I loved its, like, central plot device, and, like, it did that very well, and, like, the sets, and, like, the acting is pretty good on a lot of points. But, yeah, I feel like up until, like, that, the cops entered the scene, I was like, okay, this is pretty decent and then like once the cops entered the scene i was like okay like i feel like the, the writing could have used a second pass like for me like personally yeah i was gonna say i have a, a couple of points to touch on um the, the cop acting and dialogue i think was was under par compared to um kyle garner and i can't remember her name but the, the lead yeah. serial killer um it didn't take me out as much of it but i definitely felt the movie drag a little bit um, mm-hmm. around that point and then like i even said with the whole like dominant stuff in the motel room that yeah. dragged on a little too much but mm-hmm. i liked and i guess going back to it, i liked that it kind of teetered back and forth because there are points where i think just in that openings or that not the opening scene but whether in that room i'm like oh he's a serial killer for sure and then before they even start really nodding towards a twist like oh no wait i think she's a killer then he does the whole like foot in the mouth thing he like changes character i'm like oh shit no he is a serial killer it's not gonna go where i thought it was gonna go and then they refer back to it so like okay that was so cool it's almost forgivable that it went on too long because i wouldn't have believed it or had that mental like teeter-totter back and forth in my head if it didn't go on that long um and then one other thing i really liked about it was when they're in the car and that blue like neon light from the hotel is lighting up the car i thought that was just a really nice shot yeah yeah with all that being said, I think because I had a really good time with the movie with no expectations, I'm going to go higher and say like a seven and a half for me. Mm-hmm. Um, it was an eight yesterday. Today, I'm like, oh, okay, it's more like a seven and a half because some of those things have to sink in. Like, you know, there's a couple points where it just dragged on a bit too much. Yeah. But I had a, a really good time watching it. So. Yeah, same. I had a good time watching it. I personally, I'd probably give it like a seven out of ten. Like, I guess okay. like my objective review for Alien because like, yeah, I went with zero expectations and like I just I had a good time. And like the again like the whole like nonlinear plot device was done very well to the point where it's like the whole like yeah. like double triple twist in the middle was executed very well and like it kind of like made you think about future scenes because the moment like I saw her like glitch out at the end of the whole like extended sex scene I was like oh okay so like she's probably the one who killed all those like uh mountain people and then like the whole like tarantino set up to her killing the old man because of the cops like i thought that was like pretty decent part of the movie but like yeah like and i i enjoyed that like it was a lot like it didn't really like come out of nowhere i feel like it, like they did a little, good job like establishing in the middle like yeah so yeah i was gonna get it you want to know what the first and this is like the last thing i'll say about it i guess the first hint where i knew that it was her that was the killer was when Kyle Garner walks into the room and sees the dead like mountain husband and doesn't even really pay it any mind, like any attention at all. I'm like, that's weird. Like, even if you killed somebody, like, first of all, why would you retreat back to the room where you already killed somebody? Second of all, that lack of reaction. I was like, oh, okay, I think she's definitely the killer. And I think that was the second chapter of the movie. Yeah, yeah. I, I think what gave it to, for me was right after that, or, or I think it was supposed to be chapter chapter four or five mm-hmm. when the mountain people went, when she says no cops, don't call the cops. You yeah. immediately think, well, why? They can help you. But then, so that that gave me the idea that okay, maybe she is something to hide, maybe because of the drugs or whatever. But I'm like, no, 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 there's something more. I think that's what did it for me. And then the idea that thinking, no, there's no way she's a fucking killer. Like that was really cool. So in terms of pacing, like you know, and and I guess like you're saying, you know, in that sense, like they kind of needed to extend that like sub dom scene to kind of get like. The audience really like confused always oh, it is is it this so yeah. it's 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 hard it's it's a hard balance of like those things so i i long scene but you know i guess it really did make you confused and was that the point yeah they wanted you to think it was him because i actually i saw the, the trailer first um but it was it was a good trailer because it didn't really give away a lot of stuff and like you know it was like pre again it it, it made you think it was him yeah. uh, chasing her and that was what it was. It was just like shots of them in the bed or whatever, and them kissing. Like it was very little to get away the trailer. So that was like that was great. Uh, well done. That it really spoiled pretty much nothing. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah. So I, I forgot what I said earlier. Six point five seven. I'd probably give it a six point seven. I'd give it a six point seven. Yeah. I probably wouldn't see it again. Yeah. yeah. I probably wouldn't see it again. But I, I'm very happy. Like I'm very, very, very happy that like movies like this exist and can be in the theater still today and compete with like all the big the big yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, with, I'm with you there i, I really 
I hope it does well enough at the box office at least to this was oh. this wasn't this wasn't neon was it neon made kaku who, who was the <laughs> it was neon. It this was, like, was like magenta or something. Yeah. yeah that's right okay yeah i hope it makes enough money that it was at least profitable or they break even because yeah i mean it's been getting a lot of buzz like from right here like yeah. you know like yeah, i just it's sure. a dude tj molner i think it's the second film um, i think he did like a western or something first but yeah. i'd be doing this good stuff so afterwards yeah, yeah. so Sweet. Yeah. Oh, I give it a six. Oh, so six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, six, uh, six plus seven, seven. Yeah, seven. yeah. Well, I hope it was so worth it for you guys. I feel bad. I, I texented Ivan. I let the no, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really, really enjoyed this. Short notice, but I was glad to see it. Yeah, yeah. that was awesome. Definitely yeah. had the long legs. So, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. 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 I mean, I gave it seven out of ten. That's pretty good yeah. for me. So. I probably yeah. wouldn't watch it again, but I really wouldn't watch long legs again. Like, get the fucking drag, <laughs> man. To see long legs again. Yeah, yeah so. I think this movie would like be decent on another watch, just because the whole like uh, the, the twist and non-linear thing would be interesting to see on the second watch, and whether like you know there's more like hints that I missed the first time around type of thing, you know? Yeah. yeah. Or, or as weird as that would be, I could imagine someone like eventually when it comes out streaming, making a cut with like the chapters in or <laughs> linear. linear. Yeah. I yeah. mean, because it, it sounds like it'd be kind of boring, but it like would, I would yeah. be very curious to see. You know, like someone cut the fucking like Lost show, like they put Lost in order or whatever. Oh, like yeah, I'd be yeah, curious yeah. to see like. How how it would be, um, you mm -hmm. know, the experience for you. But yeah, it was yeah. it was good. It was fine. Yeah, cool. Sweet.